So my topic for our night is why video games are good for your health. Um, <laughs> many of you know me very well. Uh, I'm a pretty pretty big video game fan, and so it's a big passion for me. Uh, but I try to be as, as object, uh, objective as I could be for this. So I try to keep up all the bias. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that some people think that only hardcore gamers play video games. Okay, that's definitely not true anymore. Maybe it used to be in the past, but if there was a recent, a recent study that showed that uh, in our age group, 18 to 39, 95% of you know, men and women play video games. So it's not just a nerdy kid in this room. Literally everyone's doing it, and there's a game out there for everyone. Um, and these are just some of the different genres of games that people play. Okay, it's not just shoot 'em up games, it's not just violent stuff. You can find, you know, even like solitaire counts as a game, right? So literally, there's a game out there for everyone. If you think that, oh, I don't want to play games because, you know, I'm not into it, I, I can argue with you. I will find a game that you like. Who knows what this is? Tetris. Yes. Tetris, right? So in just this one game, I found something that everyone has, you know, has either played, knows about, you know, if any of you play Tetris with friends online, you know, that's a video game. So again, there's a game out there for everyone. Everyone have fun with the games, okay? And uh, last to this point, <coughs> just read this uh, statistic: females 25 years of age and older make up the largest block of PC game players, accounting for 46.2% of all players and 54.6% of all games played in minutes in December of 08. Okay? So if you think that's all guys playing, not true. Again, <laughs> lots of girls are playing, guys. Keep this in mind. So the next. Point out of, the next point I want to make is that video games are healthy for people because it makes us feel awesome. Okay, if you think about any video game, you know it's not just mindless. There's always some goal, some objective, some point you're trying to make, some target you're trying to hit. Whether it's you know leveling your character or finishing this objective, or for Pokemon it was defeating the Elite Four, or whatever it was. There's always a point, and there's always something that you, that you can achieve. And so when you accomplish it, you feel awesome. Now, question. What if I'm not good enough, okay? Here's the best part about video games. People make it. We know that people like to you know, achieve things. We know people like to succeed. So there's a difficulty <laughs> factor with video games. You can actually, you don't have to change yourself. If you suck at it, fine. Change the video game. You can make it easier so you can, you can you know, get that goal, achieve your objective, whatever it is, okay? And if that's not good enough for you, you can cheat. <laughs> okay? You can look online, look through forums, talk to people, there's a bunch of guides, walkthroughs, there's like, you know, game shark codes you can input that gives you like infinite lives. Okay? There's there is a way to beat the game, there is a way to have fun and make sure you accomplish your goal. Okay? Next point is that video games is a social thing. Uh, there's a reason why, you know, consoles have four, you know, controller ports in them. It's not just one person. You're supposed to play with other people as well, even single player games. Uh, here we have people playing the Wii, they're playing it together, they're playing with their friends, they're playing with, you know, not just themselves. It is a social thing, and you can have, you can play games with other people, have fun together. It's not, you don't have to be alone in your room to, to play video games, okay? Now, <laughs> if any of you know these people, uh, they live in Resnick 450, yeah, him too. Um, if you ever go there, most likely you will see them playing video games, and not alone, not just by themselves, they play it with each other. Okay, uh, whether it's you know Super Smash Bros or even Assassin's Creed, whatever it is, they're playing it together. It is a social uh, game. Uh, <laughs> when you play video games, when you play video games, you can actually hit on girls. As I, as I mentioned earlier, there are more and more women playing video games, and this is actually from personal experience. I can't count how many times I played a game with her online, and I said her name. Denise, and the response was, why well, someone else, wait, she's a girl? And then, right from there, they're starting, you know, what's your name, sex, location? <laughs> they're hitting on her. And, you know, again, there's more, more girls online, and it's a social aspect. <laughs> um, and the surprising thing is, it actually works. I'm sure you guys have heard of people that, you know, meet online, and then they get married or whatever. I actually, I know a friend, she used to come to Carnegie Mellon. She met her boyfriend playing WoW, and now they're living together. Okay? True fact, true fact. It, it works. It works. So guys, girls, if you're not, if you're looking for a boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe online video games is the best place for you. <laughs> Next point. Uh, video games can be a huge distraction. Now for parents, 
they, this might come out to be a, a bad thing, but you know, I'm going to give you some points to argue with them. Video games are distracting for a reason, and they can be used for good. Okay, uh, there's actually a hospital um, that treats burn victims, and they use video games to distract their patients. They're actually little children, and they found that video games helps them to deal with the pain that they have. It helps them to go through the rehab, whatever they're you know they're going through. Video games helps to distract, and it actually alleviates the pain. So again, video games keeps your minds off things. It is distracting, but it's a good thing. Uh, secondly, video games, they've actually found to be good deterrents from people who smoke or people who overeat. Uh, if you're playing video games, I can tell you personally, it's hard to think about anything else. <laughs> if someone's trying to text you or like, you know, it's dinner time, if you're playing games, it's hard to think about that. And this can be used to your advantage. So if you're trying to quit smoking, if you're trying to you know, go on a diet, play some video games, it'll pass the time and you won't be eating or smoking while you're doing it. Uh, video games is also a very big you know, stress reliever. If you're, right now, what are we all doing? Finals, right? If you're trying to have a little break, uh, I know Bahati talked about her five minute method where you do five minutes of work and then do something, something, some small thing in between. This could be your small thing, video games. It is very distracting <laughs> and you can put it, you can use it to your advantage. So again, just to wrap up, these are the, some, some of the points that I want to make. Uh, one, anyone can play video games. There is, there is a game out there for anyone, whether it's casual, shoot them up, whatever it is. You can find a game that, you're, that you like and you can be good at. Uh, and that goes to number two. It makes you feel awesome. There are goals that you, are achieve, you have to achieve in every game, and there is a way to achieve them. Uh, three, it is a social aspect. Aspect You can meet friends while you do it, meet people online, play with people around you, get on girls, whatever you fancy. Uh, it, is, it is a social aspect. And it's a good distraction. So you know, don't go too crazy with it. Uh, regulate your playtime, but it is a distraction that's good and can be beneficial at times. So thank you. That's my presentation.